you're looking at it. Another box, another package, and we shall see what's in here. And fingers crossed, everything is as it was described. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? I'm a little bit under the weather, so, you know, I'm a little off today. So, you know, forgive me if it seems like a little bit, a little bit strange. Um, this is a, another package that I just received. Um, as you can probably see, it's a little bit iffy condition. Uh, got a little bit of damage. You can probably see better here. And, you know, it's been crunched up a little bit, but thankfully that's, I mean, I don't know if thankfully or not, but the box could have been up at this point when it was being crushed as opposed to being down. I don't know. So I'm just going to get into this and just get going because there's a bunch of books in here and I just want to be done with this. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, there's a lot of tape on here. So maybe if I just go from the top and yeah, it's a little damp. It's been rainy so could have gotten that all right so first part done got the box out now there's supposed to be 14 books in here 13 14 i don't know uh now if you read my last watched if you read my last video if you watched my last video uh there's a hint as to one of the two of the books that are in here so Without further ado, not ado, because it's a French word and I can't stand when people say, uh, without further ado, no, it's further ado. <laughs> um, and let's get going. So, lots of books. And I know one of them, they already sent me an email saying that uh, there was a little bit of confusion and we'll get to that in a little bit. So this will keep to the side because I need that. So as you can see, we've got starting at the top. Um, there's a second one here, so I need to, okay. Two copies, Superman 2016 um, series number 10. This is the first meeting of the quote unquote super sons. You see them, Damian Wayne and Jonathan Kent. And that's why I bought it, <laughs> because it's the first movie of the Super Sons. Uh, we've already got the first movie on Max with the Super Sons. And, um, you know, Jonathan Kent has been in that CW series, and Damian Wayne has been in the, um, the DC animated stuff for years now. And I'm having trouble opening. This bag, which, like I said, feeling a little bit under the weather, so it might be screwing with me a little bit. Um, okay, so these are this one's supposed to be near mint minus, and looking it over, uh, the back is clean, the front is nice and clean. Um, I see one spine tick. You can let's see where do we see it? Right there. There's the spine tick. So otherwise, fairly happy with the book itself. Um, nothing crazy with that. So this is an, a near mint minus. Looks every bit the near mint minus. And this one I had paid $2.54. Second one is a straight near mint. And when we get to this, we'll see how close that one is. Um, okay, back cover again, the, there's a dent, you can see right there, there's a dent, breaks color, so more near mint minus than the other one, um, or equally, because this does not have any spine ticks. Um, this one, the near mint, ran me 389 so big difference in price, a dollar difference a dollar 35 in difference for a one point grade which is i mean 
you know, it happens. So next up, as you can see, we have A Force number one from the 2015 series. Um, this is probably the fifth copy, fourth copy I've purchased. Um, other ones were a lot more money than this one. This one I got for 416 and it's a new mint minus. And this one actually looks to be more of a near mint than anything. I got, I see no spine ticks. I see four sharp corners. I mean, you can see the spine is, well, here's the spine. It's very nice. I see nothing that is causing any kind of concern. So this is very happy with. Um, and as you can see, War of the Worlds, uh, War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, one, two, both, both of them, uh, I think cost the same price. These, yeah, these I picked up for four fifty five each. And they're both supposed to be quote unquote near mint plus. So we will look at number one. Here's number two. These were a steal at 455 or whatever I said it was. Uh, especially number two, which is the first appearance of Swordmaster. Um, yeah, again. These are giving me a lot of trouble opening these. Um, so, I don't know what's going on. It, ugh, wow. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had this much trouble opening up a bag uh, on a video before. Now, again, Near Mint Plus uh, back cover looks very clean, except for... You can see this corner, the bottom corner, is not very great, so... Neiman Plus, I say no, but for four fifty five, dollars uh, the rest of it is very clean. No, no spine ticks, uh, four sharp corners, color is very nice. So we've got that one. And now, oh, in this resealable bag, uh, shout out to Bronze and Modern Gods. Uh, I... I've joked with them before about this. Uh, <laughs> they're <laughs> the resealable bags. Well, that's what this is. So trust me, guys, I don't, I, I throw these out. I go with the Mylar and the, I'll show you what I have. I go with blue painter's tape. Don't use scotch tape. Don't use magic tape. Use the blue painter's tape. Okay, so this is number two, um, New Ages of Al Atlas, uh, War of the Realms. And this one, also supposed to be near mint, well, near mint plus actually. Uh, you can see there's a bit of color rub there. And we also have on the back, you can see here as well by the staple. So again, near mint plus, no. More near mint, near mint minus, yeah, but for 455, okay. Uh, next up, and I'm not even following, I'm not even checking if these are, um, you know, uh, new standard direct copies, to be honest, and not at this point in time. Once I go to catalog them, I'll pay attention. Um, so the next up is three cop, well, not three copies, three New Avengers 2005 series. We have number 11, First, uh, Maya Lopez as Ronin. Number 27, first, um, Clint Barton as Ronin. And then number 40, which is first Dark Avengers, I believe. Maybe. Let's see if I can pull that up. I, I was going so well remembering what everything was for the most part. Uh, I don't remember what that was, to be honest. Um, okay. Why does it seem like my internet is cut off? Uh, that's not good. Well, okay, so won't be able to check that out. Um, this is also all in resealable bags. Fun stuff. But the good thing is, is that I have my 
pricing is on local. So for these, um, 11 was 488, which is supposed to be a name it plus. Um, this one, it's supposed to be a name it plus $4.88. And we'll check this out. Okay, this one opened up a lot easier than the other ones I was having trouble with. Uh, back, eh, for the most part, there's a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see the ding on the back bottom corner. Um, yeah, I don't know. But otherwise, yeah, it's very, very clean, uh, very sharp. Checking. You know, I'm looking at the pages like it's going to be white pages or anything. Um, okay, so that was number 11, near mint plus. This is number 27 at near mint for $4.04. And okay, this one opened up nice and clean also. And this one is okay. Well, you can see on the back. Uh, I could get the angle on it. It's kind of hard. You can see right here, there's creasing, but not too bad. The bottom corner, a little bit iffy. Um, and that's the back. The front is clean. Obviously on the white, uh, on the white front, it's a lot easier to get away with a little bit of a spine tick or anything like that. Um, but for a near mint, I'd probably go near mint minus, but that's splitting hairs. Well, maybe. Uh, next up is the number 40. And this is supposed to be another near mint plus. And this one, again, can you can see it right there, bottom corner crunch. So that immediately disqualifies it from a near mint plus, obviously. But people who don't grade properly are not going to do that. We also have um, the spine tick right crap i think it's right here where my finger is it's very faint but you can see it right there and then there's a little bit of a scratch right there um so again near mint plus no near mint maybe uh next up is dc 52 uh, 52 weeks this is the first cameo of uh kate kane as batwoman this one is supposed to be near mint minus, paid $2.66 for this. And we have, okay, back cover looks okay. Bottom corner, okay. Um, there's a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see, right there between the E and the N, there's a bit of a stain there. So that immediately is concerning for, you know, a near mint minus should not have a stain on it. Um, nothing really damaging except for once again, you can see the bottom corner. There's damage there and there's a bend. So you can see that. Um, okay, for $2.66, I guess I could be okay with it. Next up is a Fantastic Ford number 272. This is the first cameo of Nathaniel Richards. And we all know, well, many of us know that Nathaniel Richards is a version of Kang and from the future and is, um, oh, 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 it's supposed to be a very fine plus. Well, right off the bat. A big color breaking spine tick right there. Um, I don't know if that's a tear. Um, there's also, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on here, the top of the book. Um, there's some um, crinkling. It's going to be hard to pick it up, but can't really get a good angle on it. Um, but there's crinkly on the top. The front of it's clean, reflects color nicely. Uh, pages, a little bit off-white, nothing, nothing terrible. Um, for this one, I paid seven, oh, 
551. So for the for the money, for the value, okay, not too bad. Next one, you already got a preview of it. This is what I was alluding to when I in my opening. Um, the last video, I opened up a couple copies of Punisher War General number seven, which was the first team up of Wolverine and Punisher. This is the first battle of Wolverine and Punisher. And I guess you could also call it the first meeting. And I think they're both direct copies. Um, one's near mint minus, one's very fine plus. So let's open up the very fine plus. Let's check that out. Uh, the very fine plus cost four dollars and sixteen cents. And so far, looks pretty good. Um, looks pretty good. I don't see any major structural damage, which is nice. Uh, white pages, very nice white pages. That's always a bonus. Um, I don't know if it'll pick up the whiteness on these very much, but this is a very nice white copy. Um, so for a very fine plus, I'm happy with that for sure. This is the near mint minus. This is in a very disgusting feeling bag. It, the bag feels sticky. Um, I'm not... I'm hoping that the book inside has nothing related to this tactile feeling. And if I can get this out. So this is supposed to be a near mint minus and this I paid $4.54. And yeah, this, uh, wow. This is terrible, terrible. Um, I don't know if you can tell let me see if I can get a, a flat board. I don't know if you'd be able to see. You can see up here. You can see how it's not flat. And you can see the ripples on the, hopefully, um, on the cover. And if we go, there, it, yeah, it just feels really really i don't know if you could see the rippling and everything but there is definitely rippling oh there you go you can see it on the bottom in that glare and if i get the top of the book you can see okay so you can see in this angle you can see this like near the spine how it's all rippled down the towards the bottom and it's a little bit dirty on the top. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there's a little bit of yellowish tinge to it. Um, so this, if anything, this should have been the very fine, not even very fine plus, just the very fine. That should have been the near mint uh, minus. Uh, but for four dollars, not that bad of a deal. Uh, next up is Web of Spider-Man number seventy. This is the first Spider Hulk. And this is a very fine plus. I paid $3.62 for this. Um, this is my second copy. My first copy is very wavy. Um, this one is also a little bit wavy, but nothing too terrible. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. Uh, yeah, okay, right, right there as I'm turning it, you're seeing on the at the top of the book and now if you look at the bottom there you go at the bottom right hand side of the screen there you see all the waves and the rippling so corners are pretty sharp white pages for a very fine plus at 362 i'm okay uh and the last two are two more dc books and this is the second copy that i have um this is what is this uh green lantern original second series 1960 number 182 this is a newsstand edition. Uh, this cost me four four eighty seven. Um, don't recall what condition my other one is in, to be honest. Um, obviously, with the confirmation of the Green Lantern stuff, you know these are going to start to pick up and everything. Uh, honestly, I, I still don't agree <laughs> with. Um, Nathan Fillion being uh, Guy Gardner. I loved his performance as Green Lantern in the standalone movie. I think it's Emerald Knight. 
don't quote me on that, but he was also Green Lantern in the second uh, Justice League New 52 um, cartoon, uh, Justice League Throne of Atlantis. And he was, he was just great. And everybody thinks that he should be Green Lantern, um, Hal Jordan. Um, but this was a very fine. Uh, it's, it's a little bit... You could, I could feel some dents in here. I uh, don't know if there's anything that will be able to be picked up on the screen. You could see a little bit on there. Um, right there, on top of the F building, there's a dent that I was feeling. Um, otherwise, the back is pretty clean. It's not that dirty at all. Uh, so it's not going to need too much work. It's got a little bit of a corner issue right there. You can see at the bottom corner. But white pages, structurally sound, staples are firm. So, yeah, for $4.87, I'm okay with it. Um, top of my head, well, here. Let's see. Um, I have the key collector app on my phone, so I'm not relying on... Uh, well, you can see it on there and you can see it there. I'm not relying on my internet right now, so that's good. So if we search real quick, um, Green Lantern 182, I think that's when Hal jo um, Guy Gardner officially becomes uh, Green Lantern. John Stewart becomes the, officially becomes Green Lantern after Hal quit in 181. So there's that. Um, and 181 is a cool, is a really cool uh, book. Nice yellow cover, Hal Jordan throwing down the ring. I want to pick up that too. And then this is the last one. This is Green Lantern from the second, you know, the 1960 series, 185. And this is also a newsstand. Very fine plus, cost me $7, seven and a quarter. So, and this one I believe is the origin of John Stewart. Uh, while I'm here, yes, Origin of John Stewart. So, if we open this up, this is supposed to be again a very fine plus. Trying to do this without doing any damage. Okay, back cover is surprisingly clean. Surprisingly clean. You can see just at the top corner over here, there's a little bit of issue, but with that dark brown or black or whatever you want to call it, very, very clean. Uh, front cover, very, very clean again. Um, once we get to, you'll see in the black, in all this red, there's nothing there except, I don't know if you'll be able to see right below my finger, there's a little bit of a dent right there. So we have that. Um, Pages are pretty white. I would probably put these probably get white, but maybe white to off white. Um, but I'm I'm thinking white. I don't know. You know, you can probably see the color on them here. Uh, I I think that's they're fairly white. Um, so that and again, I, if I didn't say this was five fifty one, uh, no seven twenty eight. So I've got some. Copper Age. I've got uh, a bunch of modern stuff. Some of the middle middle tier um, keys. Uh, the New Agents of Atlas. Those we're going to see hopefully come back up a little bit. Uh, the Green Lantern stuff I love. The Fantastic Four. We don't know what's going to happen with uh, the whole Kang thing. So maybe you know it won't be anywhere near where it could be later on. But that's everything. Let me know how you feel about the prices, the conditions that I got in here, and I'll see you in the next video.